वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स टू द फोर्थ मॉड्यूल ऑफ केमिकल रिएक्शंस इन दिस मॉड्यूल वी विल डिस्कस वेरियस फैक्टर्स दैट अफेक्ट रेट ऑफ अ केमिकल रिएक्शन इन डिटेल फॉर एग्जांपल विल सी हाउ the nature of the reactants size of the particles of reactants concentration of reactants temperature of the reactants etc affects the rate of a chemical reaction also we will discuss very important type of reaction that is oxidation reactions and various terms regarding oxidation reaction we know that rate of different reaction is different that means there is reaction need different time duration for completion but the same reaction occurs at different rate on changing the conditions so let us discuss some factors that affect the rate of chemical reaction here as you can see concentration of the reactants temperature of the reaction nature of the reactant catalyst surface area or the size of the particles of reactant these are the certain factors that affects the chemical the rate of a chemical reaction nature of reactants affects the rate of reaction let us see the reaction of metal aluminum and zinc with dilute hydrochloric acid on the reaction of both aluminum and zn with dilute hydrochloric acid hydrogen gas is liberated and water soluble salts of these metals are formed however the reaction of aluminum metal is faster as compared to zinc metal the nature of the metal is responsible for this difference aluminum is more reactive than zn therefore the rate of reaction of aluminum with hydrochloric acid is higher than that of zn nature or reactivity of reactant influence the rate of chemical reaction let us discuss some factors which affects the rate of a chemical reaction size of a particles of reactants is one of the important factor that affects the rate of a chemical reaction let us do one activity take a piece of shahabad tile also take some powder of shahabad tile now add 10 ml of dilute hcl in the powder of shahabad tile as well as on the piece of a shahabad tile and observe the reaction you will see effervescences of co2 formed also you will see the effervescences of co2 formed in the powder of shahabad tile but the co2 effervescence is formed slowly 
with the pieces of shaba tile when it forms at a faster faster speed with the powder these observations indicates that the rate of a chemical reaction depends upon the size of the particles of the reactants taking part in the reaction so we can conclude smaller the size of the reactants particles higher is the rate of chemical reaction let us see how the concentrations of the reactants affect the rate of a chemical reaction let us do one activity let us consider the reaction of dilute hydrochloric acid and concentrated hydrochloric acid with calcium carbonate when hydrochloric acid reacts with calcium carbonate effervescence of co2 gets formed when dilute hydrochloric acid reacts with calcium carbonate it reacts slowly therefore the carbon dioxide also gets liberated slowly and we can see the rate of formation of effervescence of co2 is slow on the other hand when the concentrated hydrochloric acid reacts with calcium carbonate the reaction is fast and we can see the effervescences of carbon dioxide gets formed at faster rate therefore we can conclude that concentrated acids react faster than dilute acids which means that the rate of a chemical reaction is directly proportional to the concentration of reactants temperature is one of the important factor that affects the rate of a chemical reaction we have studied decomposition reactions in that we have seen decomposition of calcium carbonate that is limestone powder after heating we know that calcium carbonate after heating decomposes into calcium oxide and carbon dioxide but the rate of this reaction is zero at room temperature we need to provide heat externally for this reaction so we can conclude that rate of a chemical reaction increases on increasing the temperature catalyst plays an important role to enhance the rate of a chemical reaction let us study one decomposition reaction potassium chlorate kclo3 decomposes on heating to form potassium chloride and oxygen gas the rate of a reaction is very slow even though we decrease the particle size of potassium chlorate or we increase the temperature then also the rate of the reaction doesn't changes it is slow but potassium chlorate decomposes rapidly in presence of manganese dioxide that is mno2 to liberate 
oxygen gas and no chemical change takes place in MnO2 during this reaction. So MnO2 does not actually take parts in the reaction but its presence enhances the rate of the chemical reaction. So such substances which are used to enhance the rate of the chemical reactions are called as catalyst. So in this decomposition reaction, MnO2 manganese dioxide is acting as a catalyst. So let us define a catalyst. The substances whose presence the rate of a chemical reaction changes without causing any chemical change to it is called a catalyst. Here is one more reaction in which catalyst is used to enhance or to increase the rate of a chemical reaction. The decomposition of hydrogen peroxide into water and oxygen gas takes place slowly at room temperature. But the same reaction occurs at a faster rate on adding manganese dioxide powder in it. So here manganese dioxide powder is acting as a catalyst which increase the rate of reaction without taking part in the reaction. Many types of substances give reactions called oxidation and reduction. Let us learn more about oxidation reaction. In reaction A, as you can see, magnesium combines with oxygen to give magnesium oxide. In reaction B, carbon reacts with oxygen and gives rise to carbon dioxide. In reaction C, magnesium hydride decomposes into magnesium and hydrogen. In reaction D, ethane decomposes to liberate hydrogen gas. Now, in reaction A and B, reactants combine with oxygen. Whereas in reaction C and D, hydrogen gas is removed from the reactants. All these types of reactions are oxidation reaction. So let us define oxidation reaction. The chemical reaction in which a reactant combines with oxygen or loses hydrogen to form the product is called oxidation reaction. Some oxidation reactions are brought about by use of specific chemical substances. For example, oxidation of ethanol. We know that when the reactant combines with oxygen, then such reactions are called as oxidation reaction. Now in this oxidation reaction, oxygen is made available by acidified potassium dichromate. So, here 
potassium dichromate is called as oxidant or oxidizing agent because potassium dichromate is providing oxygen for this oxidation reaction so let us define an oxidizing agent the chemical substances which bring out an oxidation reaction by making oxygen available are called as oxidants or oxidizing agents a variety of oxidants are used to bring about oxidation for example ozone is also a chemical oxidant hydrogen peroxide is used as mild oxidants nascent oxygen is generated by chemical oxidants and it is used for oxidation reaction nascent oxygen is the state prior to formation of oxygen molecule it is reactive form of oxygen and it is represented by the symbol o written in square bracket oxidants or oxidizing agents are used in our day to day life also for various purposes oxidants like potassium permanganate ozone etc are used during cleaning water tanks some oxidants are also used for purification and disinfection of drinking water before supplying it to the houses and industries